Now, the U.S. government, meanwhile, is pouring $140 million to boost U.S. high-tech manufacturing with two new research institutes. Those funds will be matched by investments from the private sector. Private-public partnerships may be a fast way to create jobs without legislative approval. Jessica Stone has this report from Washington, D.C. There's no doubt that Detroit, Michigan, often known as the Motor City, could use more jobs. It's lost half its population since 1950 and is now part of the largest municipal bankruptcy in American history. The U.S. government is hoping lightweight metal design and manufacturing can change that. American President Barack Obama unveiled a new research institute located outside of Detroit to combine the expertise of 60 area universities and companies to invent new specialty metals. The kind that are used in military aircraft, automobiles, wind turbines, and medical devices. So if we want to attract more good manufacturing jobs to America, we've got to make sure we're on the cutting edge of new manufacturing techniques and technologies. The U.S. government is also backing a second hub focusing on software innovation in the Chicago area. The hub aims to solve problems in digital design and manufacturing with network security and interoperability in mind. It's worked for Germany, which has 60 of them, supporting the country's manufacturing prowess. While American manufacturing in the United States contributed more than $2 trillion to the U.S. economy in 2012, the CEO of the U.S. National Association of Manufacturers wrote an editorial Tuesday saying the White House doesn't deserve all the credit. Quote, for the past few years, manufacturers have succeeded in spite of Washington, which has stood still on manufacturers' priorities, or even worse, enacted policies that make it harder to compete. Despite the tactic of using this private-public partnership to avoid the need for U.S. congressional involvement, the U.S. president will still need Washington lawmakers to pass legislation to fund a national network made up of at least 45 of these manufacturing hubs. Jessica Stone, CCTV, Washington.